Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So, we have some pretty big news regarding The, the Walking Dead and this big announcement that is going to be coming this Sunday. So, obviously, before we go any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you want any of my Walking Dead content like this, because there's going to be a lot to talk about over the next, like, week or two. This will also contain spoilers for episode 10 of World Beyond. Just the post credit scene, though, I'm not going to talk about anything else, but I just want to mention a character that does return there, and whether or not that's actually going to be the guest here on Talking Dead and give my thoughts on that. First of all, I think that's unlikely, but I'll get into my reasons then. So, Talking Dead announced, obviously, last week. I just saw this post here. This was made two hours ago, or I guess it's... Yeah, I mean, I guess they posted this last last night and then they also made another post here so i mean the one they made today was like join us next week as we chat with an exciting surprise guest and then they went into everything else but also the one they posted yesterday that everybody freaked out over was that next sunday on talking dead a big announcement a surprise guest and then it went into everything else so we have two things happening th this sunday which is going to be a, a big announcement and a surprise guest and if you follow me on Twitter, you likely saw what I posted. I said that I I may be very wrong, but I'm going to commit to this, or I put c commit this, which, yeah, that's very wrong. But I'm going to commit to this, and you guys can destroy me online after. Andrew Lincoln will be on Talking Dead next Sunday via Skype or whatever, and um, they'll announce something Rick movie related. And honestly, I mean, I don't know what this can be. And so obviously there is the whole surprise guest aspect to it. And the reason why I brought up Dr. Jenner from the post credit scene was because could this be the, the surprise guest, right? And I mean, I still think it's possible, but, you know, if, if he does show up as a surprise guest, you know, the announcement is going to have nothing to do with him just because it, it makes no sense for the announcement to have anything to do with him. The character's already been killed off, right? You maybe could do like a, a, a Tales of the Walking Dead episode, but like, why would you announce an episode on that? You know what I mean? I, I don't, I, honestly, their announcements are never like, well, this is what some of the episodes are going to be about, right? Because we already got the confirmation that Tales of the Walking Dead is coming out next summer, right? Like that, that was already a big announcement. And like, besides that, you know, we're, we're already going to know that obviously Fear is going to show up back in April. They never usually announce stuff like that. So what is this announcement going to be? Is it going to be a trailer? I mean, that's not really an announcement, right? It's usually just a trailer that's going to drop. So, like, I this is something that is definitely different. It's different from Tales. It's different from uh, Fear, The Walking Dead, and all of that. This is going to be something completely separate, and it's going to be either one of two things, a new spinoff, which I find very unlikely because they have a lot of stuff coming out right now, or two, this will be a Rick Grimes movie announcement. And I don't know what we're going to get. You know, I'm hoping it's going to be a, a release date or, or something like that. Like that's the only thing I could really see, and they're saying a surprise guest. I mean, that could really be anyone, but you know, if it, if it does correlate with that, that's why I'm thinking Andrew Lincoln, just because I mean, maybe he shows up to Talking Dead. You know, that's possible. But I think if anything, he'll probably just be on like something like Zoom or Skype or whatever. And that's honestly my prediction with this. I, I do think the major announcement that they're gonna be. Uh, announcing, I guess, this Sunday is going to be Rick Grimes related because I don't see what it could really be. Like, they can't announce another spinoff. I mean, they probably could, but it makes no sense because next year, yes, The Walking Dead is ending, but besides that, we have the Daryl and Carol spinoff, Tales of the Walking Dead, and Fear the Walking Dead, right? And so that's three shows. That's what we have on this year, right? We have we had World Beyond, which is over now, but we had World Beyond, Fear, and The Walking Dead. Next year, we're going to have The Walking Dead, Fear, and uh, Tales of the Walking Dead. The year after, The Walking Dead will be over, but we're going to have the Daryl and Carol spinoff because that's been confirmed to be coming out in 2023. We also have Tales of the Walking Dead Season 2 that's likely going to drop that summer. And then Fear the Walking Dead Season 8 and also Season 9, I guess, later on that year. So they have a lot of shows here planned. They have a lot of things planned for the next couple of years. You know, I don't think that the next spinoff will be coming out until like 2025, to be honest. I think they're going to really work hard on Tales of the Walking Dead because that show is going to be... Honestly, I, I'm, I know the Daryl and Carol show is like, that could be really exciting, especially, you know, with what we know about the post credit scene and them trying to survive those type of zombies. That actually could be a lot of fun. Like that premise right there is already exciting enough to get me watching. But with Tales of the Walking Dead, you know, you're able to bring back a lot of old characters like Carl, Beta. I mean, the list goes on and on, the governor, right? So, like, that's also going to be really big. We'll just see where fear goes. But, I mean, my point is, there's a lot of things that they have planned, right? There's, in terms of announcements, really, like, what else is there? It's just the Rick movie. Honestly, that's all it is. It is just the Rick movie. The Rick Grimes movie is that one thing that we don't have any sort of release time frame, right? 
So I could see them announcing that. You know, like there was a rumor a couple weeks ago, and again, this rumor could literally be completely false, but the rumor was that they were set to film the Rick movie at some point next year, I think after The Walking Dead wraps up. I could totally see the announcement coming on December 5th, being that this is the release date. I mean, who knows? They might drop it in fall of of 2022, right? Literally in a year from now, that Rick movie could come out. Because like, if those rumors are true, and say they start filming, like, like say they start filming in April, they would be done by July. And then they would have a few months to edit the whole movie, which is like not a, not enough time, definitely. But it's not like it's a high budget movie, right? Like it is going to be a way bigger budget than than anything on the show. It'll take a long time to edit it, and it's going to take months and months and months. But it's one thing that's two hours instead of editing a season down to sixteen hours or whatever, right? So the way I see it is, I think it is actually possible to have it release in the holiday season of next year, and maybe that's their plan for a release date, or they might just say literally two thousand and twenty three because that gives them a lot of time. There's no reason to air it, obviously, next year, right? But I do think you got to think about the whole lead-in thing, right? And and I'm thinking of it in terms of how AMC, I think, has always viewed The Walking Dead and its spinoffs. Like, The Walking Dead has always been, like, the mainstay, right? Whenever they did spinoffs, they always had The Walking Dead leading into to that spinoff, right? So if you had the finale for The Walking Dead, it would lead into the premiere of Fear the Walking Dead. It's just always been that way. Well, I could totally see them doing that with the Rick Grimes movie. There's going to be something that they announce once The Walking Dead is over. Something is going to come out right when The Walking Dead is over, right? It's either going to be Fear the Walking Dead or it could be the Rick movie, literally. Or it could also be the trailer, right? So... Anyways, I really do believe that the announcement coming this Sunday is going to be that, because what else is it going to be? And it's not even really that. Like, they announced it on Twitter. They know what people are going to be thinking, right? Like, they all know what people are going to be thinking. If the major announcement is literally nothing, people are going to be commenting, like, fail, epic fail, blah, 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 this and that. Like, they know that if they tease something like that, no one's going to give a shit. So I, I really do think that it, it's probably going to be Rick-related. Don't expect a teaser, any footage or anything like that, because obviously they haven't filmed, but I just have to say that because I know a lot of people sometimes expect those things. If anything, it, it could be some director ca- and casting information, uh, a release date, a title, That's basically going to be it because those are those basics that you could announce, right? And it's possible that the first movie here is literally just going to be called Rick Grimes or The Walking Dead Rick Grimes. They, they're they just sticking with that title. I think it's a really good title. It works really well. And then just announce the release date, say early 2023 or, or summer 2023, fall 2023 or something like that. Or maybe holiday season 2022, right? Like, who knows? And then after that, you can say the director is this. Gimple is obviously the writer. He's probably writing it with other people, too. But Gimple is like the writer. And then announce some of the casting information. It's not too hard, right? You don't have to give the whole cast you can just say like andrew lincoln will return as rick grimes paulina mcintosh will return as jadis and then maybe like Corey hawkins will return as heath though honestly i think if we're gonna see heath at all it's basically gonna be a zombie of him like it's gonna be something very short because i i really do believe that jadis just killed him he was an a the whole time right and and she just traded him to the, the commonwealth or the Commonwealth of the CRM, and they did experiments on him and stuff like that. But yeah, big announcement coming out next Sunday, so definitely post your thoughts down below. I'd love to know what you guys think the announcement is going to be. I know it's it's basically at the, this point where it's like, it's not going to be anything Rick-related. It's not going to be this. You know, they never do that. It's, it's never this sort of thing. Well, I mean, the thing is, it has to be. It literally has to be something like that, because if it's not that, like, what else is it going to be? Like, th- these are the moments that fans should be excited for, right? Like the last episode of Talking Dead. Like, I feel like if you're Gimple, you want to really capitalize on these moments. Make them worth it. You just, you think of what Disney does. Whenever there's like a Disney Plus day or there's like a, a thing like this, there's, for the most part, there's always bigger announcements or there's there's things that are shown, right? And Gimple only really reveals information at Comic-Con. That's basically it. That's the only time we ever get trailer information. There might be other things here and there, but I kind of think they're like kind of poorly timed because they'll drop on like a Tuesday randomly, right? Whereas I feel like you could just announce it at, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a plan to get ahead of, of like leaks and stuff. I don't know. But this is something that I think it should just be, I think it should be Rick related. And like, maybe the surprise cast member isn't Andrew Lincoln. Fine. But I think that announcement should be right. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more walk into content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.